Next question is from Matthew Garcia. What are the best body weight exercises to build a stronger core and when to program them? You know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to give my favorite advanced core exercise. This is advanced, so you need to be really strong and have good stability, but I'm going to give one of my favorites away. This was an exercise I saw Bruce Lee doing Dragon back class. in the day. Yes. <laughs> and then, so Bruce Lee, was I was like a huge Bruce Lee fan when yeah. I was a kid. I mean, Enter the Dragon, Return to the Dragon, um, you know, Return of the Dragon, excuse me, beast. Chinese Connection, like great. I loved him. And he was really muscular for that era and he did all these extra stuff. He did Dragon Flags, which were really cool. And then, here's what solidified it. Rocky did it in Rocky Four. That's the one where they're doing the montage where he's getting ready for the Russian and he's doing them on the thing. Yeah. And like that. Anyway, that exercise, it, you know, if you're strong enough and, and, and have the right stability, nothing builds my core. Like that. literally, I, I'll do seven reps of that and nothing will build. There's a picture of. Uh, and there's lots. There. So most people won't be able to do this, no. but there's actually, yeah, yeah. you could like do like a lever. regression to this. Like there's regressions that you can do like a, re almost like a, a reverse crunch yes. to a lifting your hips so off. So your the, knees are just slightly bent and yeah. you can kind of, yeah. Fold. Yeah. Or you could even do like where your legs are straight, but you know what I'm saying, right? Where you're, you kind of roll the spine up yes. and then keep your legs Instead straight. of maintaining that. Yeah. Kind instead of, of maintaining it, like the dragonfly is really advanced, but there's definitely variations of this. To, to progress you to get here totally. that the average person could actually do that I agree have tremendous value. Yeah, now I'm going to back out and I'll give you my some uh, of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite basic exercises. Mm -hmm. I love reverse crunches. It's one of my favorite exercises. I would yeah. have clients often start with it because it was harder to turn into a reverse crunch into a hip flexor sit up than a forward sitting crunch or sit up. So I'd have people lay on the floor or on a bench. They would anchor their upper body, bend their knees, tuck their knees so everything's kind of nice and tight, and then just roll their pelvis yeah. backwards off the bench. And it's a great way to really work the, the you know the muscles of the core. I like as a simple exercise the perfect sit up, and yeah. just because I can, you know, you can sort of highlight the connectivity between like each one of your abs and like really focusing on bringing that sternum down towards your belly button and, and getting that you know that sensation and that crunch and feeling. Uh, there in the core and really isolating it. And then uh, another one, um, well, I I was going to bring up levers like for like an extreme version of what you're talking about with the dragon flags, but you can do that with a, with a uh, pull-up bar uh, and, and sort of work your way up with that. Again, to your point, you can bend your knees and you can kind of slowly, it's more of an eccentric type of a move where you're really stabilizing your entire body. The other one that's really... Uh, a lot more simple than that is the hollow body position. And that's uh, basically like a lot of people do planks and they're familiar with planks and that isometric position in terms of like stabilizing uh, the spine, getting your core activated. Well, you know, flipping on your back. So now your legs are just slightly up. Uh, your, your toes are pointed, your arms are behind your head and your, your fingers are pointed. It just helps to kind of connect the entire, entire body at once. So if I can, if I have that ability, that translates so well to basically any position I put you in. So perfect sit up was the one I was going to say. And, and I just think that that lays the foundation for like every other ab exercise you're going to do that having the ability to articulate your spine like that slow and controlled, not only is it extremely challenging, but it's so beneficial to yeah. everything else. The other one that I'd add in there because, uh, and I thought for sure you would, you were going to steal both from me, Justin, is to, I like a, a cable wood chop. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. I just because you can load it quite a bit. Um, very functional. The, yeah. The rotational strength unit, the anti-rotational strength that comes from it, very functional. I just there's and rotation is rarely ever trained this, in core workouts. So those would go. Yeah, those would so be important. like my my two favorite, or I like what you did with the dragonfly, or like a regression of that. Like those. And then where do you program it? Was the rest of this question? Well, uh, typically um, either on a day it's on its own, or at the end of a workout. And here's why. Um, now I know if you have a weak body part, it's important to prioritize that body part and work it first in a workout. The problem with the core and doing that with the core is you re you need it to be stable for almost everything that you do. It's not a great idea to start a workout with core fatigue your core, then you go on to work out your legs or your back or upper body, and uh, the risk of injuries tends to go up. So typically at the end of the workout, two or three days a week maybe six sets uh, for core. I would incorporate some rotation. Don't neglect rotation. Um, and some kind of a, you know, rolling forward or rolling back extra. Physio ball crunches are another really good one. You got to do them right though. 
Um, active planks is another really good exercise. But something that targets the the abs so that you're bringing the rib cage and the pelvis closer together. So that's any movement that does that. So that could be a crunch, a reverse crunch. It could be a perfect sit-up. And then something with rotation. And the cable chop is a great – or bands. You know, that rotation is so important. And if you watch people's core workouts – they almost never include rotation either A, because it's not a popular way to train your core or B, because they're misinformed and say, and they think, oh, if I work my obliques, I'm going to get a bigger yeah, waist. God forbid. Yeah. So stupid. That's so dumb. Please train your obliques like you train any other muscle. They're very important. And the stronger and more defined your obliques are, the better your core will look. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.